Okay, so I'm going to outline uh, a random number generator method called blum blum shub. So with blum blum shub, we have a provable uh, random number generation uh, process. So what does it actually in involve? So the core of it is that uh, we have a sequence defined as x n plus 1 uh, is equal to x n squared mod of a value m. The value of m is defined as the multiplication of two uh, prime numbers. The security of the methods in generating these random numbers is to do with the difficulty in factorising m back to p and q. So the sequence that we have is based on the previous uh, value of the state x n squared, and then we take the mod, which is the division by n, and then we take the remainder to find uh, n plus 1. The size of the random number generator or the scope of it will be defined by this value of m. The larger this is, the more values that we can actually uh, create. This is defined as a finite field. The maximum value that we can get for a random number generator will be m minus 1. So let's take an example here, and I've shown a little uh, bit of uh, Python. But if we take a value of p is equal to 7, that's a prime number, and q is equal to, uh, equal to for example, 11. The main thing that we need to make sure for these ones is that uh, p mod m is equal to 3 mod 4, which means that when we divide by uh, 4, we get a remainder of 3. So if we take 7 as a number here, if we divide by 4, we get 1 remainder 3. So this works. If we take 11, divide by 4, we get 2 remainder 3. So this works. If we take a value of 13 here, 13 divided by 3 is 4, remainder 1, that doesn't work. So a value of 13 wouldn't be possible. So the values that we have for p and q, uh, in this case, are 7 and 11. So we start off with a random seed. So in this case, uh, m will be equal to 77. So the maximum value that we can actually create from here will be between 0 and 76. Now what we do is we start with a random seed. So let's say we start with x0 equal to 5. Obviously, this would be generated from some sort of random process running on the machine because this we need to know this to be able to generate the whole of the sequence. If someone discovers what this random seed is, they'll be able to predict the other uh, values in the sequence. So if we take x1, then that is 5 squared mod 77. And the answer to that one is uh, 20, is 25. Of course it is because it's mod uh, 77 and we haven't uh, uh, exceeded 77. So it's just the, the result from our remainder there. And then x2 will be equal to 25 squared mod 77. That's 25 squared, uh, 625 or so, and then divide by 77 and find the remainder, and we find that out as 9. And so we'll go on, taking this value, squaring it 
mod 7, 7 uh, and, and so on. What we typically do is that we take the least significant bit from each of our outputs. So this is an odd number, so this would be a 1. This is an odd number, that would be a 1. The next value in the sequence is 4, so that becomes a 0. So our output becomes 1, 1, 0. This becomes a random output. The great advantage with uh, this method is that we can actually predict a future value with a mathematical equation. So the equation is given here for it, but it's something like x is x0 to the power of 2i, and then we have mod of lambda m, and then that is all uh, mod n m at the end. Uh, this function here is called the lowest common multiplier for phi, which is p minus 1, and q minus 1. So we calculate p minus 1, which is 6, and q minus 1 is 10, and we find that 60. We find the lowest common multiplier for that, and that becomes this part here. So the great advantage with this is that we can actually predict any future number purely with this uh, mathematical equation. Okay, so this is uh, this just showed uh, an example. You can try some examples here. Uh, eventually, if we generate enough ones and zeros, we should be able to determine whether it is truly random uh, or not. In this case. We're generating 514 ones and 486 zeros. If we keep generating, we should see that sometimes we generate a little bit more zeros than ones and so on. But if we had enough of these bits, we should be able to show that it is purely random. Okay, thank you.